Hi guys, it's Kelsey, and today is supposed to be one of my updates for my fitness challenge. I've been super, super busy though, so I didn't have time to film a proper video. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to give you some kind of content today related to fitness. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I've been doing in my daily routines to kind of change things up a little. Because if you're a really busy person like me and you find it very hard to dedicate like a set amount of time every day to actually do routines, then doing simple things around the house that just keep you more active and maybe give you a little strength training can help to some degree. It's not going to make you super strong and it's probably not going to make any difference really quickly. So if you're looking for fast results, probably not the way to go. But it's definitely something that I notice has been helping me. I'll show you a few things you can do in your daily life to be more active and increase your fitness. One of the things that maybe seems like super obvious with fitness is actually drinking water. <laughs> if you don't drink water, then you're not gonna be able to do anything. Like this stuff is your lifeline and it's really important to stay hydrated. So what I do, this is the first thing, <laughs> is I have these jumbo cup things that they sell at Starbucks. I try and drink at least four to five of these a day. And sometimes if I know that I'm going to be really busy at work and probably get super distracted because that happens a lot, I get very focused when I start doing stuff. And then I totally forget to eat, I forget to take breaks, I forget to go to the bathroom, I forget to drink water, like I literally forget everything. So I set an alarm <laughs> and every half hour I take three giant gulps from this water. And that way I'm always drinking, which is good. <laughs> One thing you may have noticed is that I'm wearing normal clothes and there's a reason for that. I could have come home and changed into something more appropriate for exercise, but these exercises are designed to be done at any time so that it doesn't discourage you and make you feel like you have to go into a lot of effort to actually get prepared for them. They're just things that you can do every day and incorporate into daily life, which is really cool about them. So one of the things is if you have a countertop like anywhere in your house, this is my kitchen. <laughs> you guys have seen it in other videos like a long, long time ago, but we have this island, which is fairly sturdy. And one of the exercises that I do is first of all, some stretching. So if I lean on it like this, I can stretch my calves, which actually feels super, super nice. And will kind of help me prepare for other exercises later. And then to get an even deeper stretch and actually work out my arms a little, I can take advantage of this position to do some push-ups. Oh wow, okay, that was my elbow that just popped. <laughs> oh, this is really hard for me, but it is a modified push-up, which makes it a little bit easier than a regular one. So I am able to do more <laughs> than I normally can. For this next exercise, what you need to do is choose a location in your house. Every time you enter this space, you're going to do walking lunges. Just like that. If you do that every single time that you walk down your hall or whatever space you choose, you are definitely gonna feel it by the end of the day. This next exercise is designed for you to do right before you go to bed. I've been doing it for the past, I wanna say week or so, and I feel like I'm sleeping a lot better, which is really cool. I do feel pretty sore after it, 
Maybe that's just because I'm starting in such bad shape, but I actually really like this exercise, especially because the entire thing takes about three minutes. And it really works your core and your legs. So this exercise is definitely the right one for me. Lay flat on your back and put your hands down by your sides. You're going to put your legs up like this at a 90 degree angle. I'm not very flexible, so it's pretty hard for me to keep my knees straight. So this is like an extra challenge for me. But if you guys can keep your knees straight, <laughs> go ahead and do that. And then you're just gonna do 10 on each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then 10 more. <laughs> After that, you're going to flex your feet, keep your legs in the same position, and do the same thing, same amount of times. So, ah, this is so tiring, you guys have no idea. What's important is that you keep your muscles tight. If you don't flex your legs, and your stomach, then you're not gonna get anything out of it. The next exercise, <laughs> you take your legs and you cross your right over your left and you push them together really hard and then you do plies and then you switch. The next one is a little hard to do on a bed. What you wanna do is put your legs out um, at a slight angle and then keep your knees slightly bent. Your arms are in the same position. And then you're gonna rock forward like this, lifting your butt off the bed. <laughs> and you want to do at least 10 of these, more if you can. And then that is the entire three minute workout before you go to bed. <laughs> By the time you finish, you're so tired, all you want to do is sleep. It's perfect. One of the more important things that I actually didn't talk about yet is stretching. You want to make sure that you get a really good warm up with your muscles before you start working out too much. So that's something that you would usually do in the very beginning of the day and then also at the end. So I'll show you a few simple stretches that you can do daily to increase your flexibility and also help you from getting injured. This stretch is really simple, so I feel like everybody can do it and pretty much anywhere. All you're gonna do is grab your toes and pull back on your feet. If you want a deeper stretch, you just slide your legs out a little bit more. Another stretch that feels really good is putting your leg in front of you like this and just sort of leaning over it and then make sure whatever you do to one side, you always do to the other. You do want to keep it balanced. Another good one is to pull your feet together like this. You can lightly push down with your elbows on your legs to give yourself an extra stretch and also lean forward a bit. This last stretch is actually one of the most beneficial ones and it's used in yoga practices, dance classes, pretty much everything. In yoga, they call it child's pose and it's really easy. You just sit with your legs like this. In Japan, it would be seiza position. <laughs> and then you reach forward and lean over. That's it for this video. I know it's really simple and basic, but these are some of the things that I've been doing to kind of help myself. In my next fitness video, I'll give you guys more of an update on my progress. Sorry, I couldn't really cover much of that today. I've been really busy, so I didn't have time to put together a proper video showing my progress. So hopefully I'll be able to do that next week. <laughs> Although after two weeks of doing stuff, I don't know how far I'm actually gonna get. But if you guys want to see, I might as well show you. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.